Hi, it's Stella from Ipul University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Final Girl from Fanbrother Games. Be the star of the horror movie as the final girl who must survive and kill the attacker. The game plays one player with mechanics such as hand management, dice roll, and pick up and deliver. The game is of light to medium complexity. In Final Girl, there are a number of scenarios you can choose from, where you are trying to go around an area or a house to try to save some victims and finally defeat the enemy and survive. In this video, I am using Hans the Butcher as the enemy. In the game, a random setup card will determine the location of the victims, the final girl and the attacker. On your turn, you play cards and resolve one at a time to dictate the actions you want to do, using dice roll to determine the outcome. There are cards that help you mitigate dice rolls. You usually spend time almost like action points allowance. Some are free, some cost more depending on the dice results. You can do things like move, sprint, planning, retaliate, and more. One unique feature to the game is the balancing act of choosing the powerful or weak action, either on this or next turn. The cards you use this turn cannot be used on your next turn. To get the cards back to your hand, you must also spend the time. Some basic cards cost zero, so you can always take them back two turns later. You must try to get the victims on the board to safety. The more you do it, the more bonus you get. You must try to prevent the attacker to destroy the victims, otherwise they become more powerful. Certain things also happen dictated by the event deck, good or bad. Once you drain the attacker's health, you win, or you lose all your health, which you lose. It is a good puzzle to solve what you're going to do next, what cards you want to play or save for the next turn, what cards you are getting for your next turn. There are a few characters to choose from, a few setup cards, random enemy deck. This will ensure high replayability of the game. There are many strategies, many possible things you can do in the game. There are times it took me a while to think what I'm gonna do. Okay, I was being a little analysis paralysis, but hey, that's the beauty of solo game. Take as much time as you need. No one else needs to wait for your turn. I think the game really captures the feeling of being in a horror movie. The attacker chases you, then when you feel strong enough, you may want to chase them and fight back. There are item cards you can use to help, like trash can lead to help defend yourself better. You can have a girlfriend or boyfriend that could potentially help you in the game. And like a lot of horror movie ending, once you've drained the attacker's health, or if you are out of health, each has a hidden random health token that could mean one could suddenly alive again with a few last remaining health for a dramatic finale with you as the star of this movie. So thanks for watching folks, Final Girl is on its few final days on Kickstarter campaign, so check it out before time runs out. I've put the link in the description below of the campaign so you can check it out. The components featured in this video is prototype or have been taken from other games, so rules and components you see here are not final. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Mpool University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board game journey on Instagram, so hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time!